at that! Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Can everyone come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Whoa. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Can Hello everyone and welcome to my next walkthrough, which is, take it away, Mario! Super Mario Sunshine! Yes, Super Mario Sunshine it is! Wait, he just said that, yeah, well, well whatever. Without further stalling, let's get right into the game, because I am dang excited to start this. And we're starting off on our way to Delfino Airstrip here. Mario's on his quest for seafood and a relaxing vacation. Peach wants to prostitute in some other lands. See, because she's the princess of the kingdom, she couldn't do that in her lands. Because, you know, it, it would make her look bad and stuff like that. And what the heck is this? What the? Ew. What is this? It's like, it's like someone blew their nose on the runway. Why, hello there, mysterious figure standing on top of the water. Somehow she confused that figure as being Mario, even Mar even though Mario was on the plane, as you've seen earlier. Being of the princess in this dreadful heat, Master Mario, if you would cross over to that shore and find some assistance. Fun fact: Delfino Island is in a complete heat wave, except for one area. So that's why he referenced that. But anyway, this is the Delfino airstrip. Oh my God! I can move. I I can move and. Wait, wait for it. This is something I've never had before in a video game. Behold! A jump button! Yes! I've never jumped before in my life! Okay, it's just simply been a while since the last time I've uh, had a game that you can actually jump in, or I should say control well. You can talk to people with the B button. A button is the jump button. Um, by running and jumping like this, I'll just get a nice good run here. Just go one, and as soon as you land, press the jump button again, and your jumps will get higher and higher up to the third jump. Press the B button to slide also, and uh, you can also pick things up, but there's... <laughs> I didn't mean to talk to you! And uh, you can pick things up with the B button, as I said, talk to people, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, that's really all that I can... Ex oh wait, I can do a spin jump by rotating the control stick and doing that. I'll side flips by snapping the control stick back in one direction and then to another and then you can do a side flip easily. Uh, all those moves are really easy to do as this game controls really well. But that's about all that I can show you right now until I get something else in terms of controls. So I'm going to show you a little, not, I shouldn't say Easter egg, but it's a, a guy that you won't see for a very, very, very long time in this game. Um, is if you go over here and go over to this dock area here, this guy that that's dancing around here strangely. Uh, this is a boat guy, and uh, he, he, yes, you will see him later in the game, but very, very much later, but a lot of people don't know that he's there right now. And I should also add that there's a little graphical glitch over here. Like, you'll see that paint, it looks like it's in the water. And when you get closer, it's gone! And I don't, I don't believe you can go underneath, or maybe you can. 
Oh, never mind. It isn't a graphical glitch. My mistake. I'm just being an idiot. I always thought that was a graphical glitch. I just thought I would check it out now. So, whatever. And, uh, let's just talk to these guys here. Oh, yeah, you can press the Z button to view your map here, which is this thingy right here. What is this mysterious M? I don't know. It could be Mommy or something. Or... It could be a famous plumber, of which I don't know his name, but... Anyway, yeah, I'm going to grab this water pump and start for realsies! Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying... Watch at the bottom left corner there. It'll show little uh, snippets from Mario games. Like there's Mario 64. Oh, it just cut it off there. Dang it, I see Mario World, uh, the original Mario Brothers. But yeah, that's another little Easter egg. Well, I, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't call uh, that goop one an Easter egg at all. You know, the one that I thought was a graphical glitch. That was just me being me. And Flood will explain the controls here. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. Looks like Flood is humping Mario there. Or he was. I swear I could never play a kid-friendly game. Ah! Uh, no, dear lord, no, I don't want to see that again. Anyway, you'll notice that you can see these M's here. Uh, just press the R button to wash it off. I should say press the R button all the way to do that. You'll get a coin. This is the only area in the game that I know of that these M's uh, painted on things will give you coins. Otherwise, they give you blue coins. I should say these are the only M's that give you gold coins, not blue coins. But I'll get into blue coins later. Um, you can use it to wash off stuff like that. If you should ever press the R button down all the way, you can't move. But that's just the easy way that you can like spray in different directions without going into first person mode, which is the Y button. As as it shows, the X button uh, switches the nozzles. The hover nozzle does exactly what it says. It gives you a little hover power. Um, when you spray like this, and then press the A button to jump, you'll do a super squirt like that. Um, you can also combine it with other powers, such as the spin, the side flip, which will do weird combinations of stuff, and you can also, use, of course, wash things down with your pump, which is, you know, kind of the whole point of having it, as well as spraying enemies, and you can also free some piantas. Yeah, these guys are named piantas. Uh, pianta. What? I'm gonna say pinatas like 80 times this walkthrough, I swear. <laughs> um, and yeah, so he's. Wait, what are you. My fault? What are you talking about, man? This isn't my fault. I just got here. Didn't you see? I came on that plane over there. Well, anyway, spray this uh, middle goop right in the center here until this pops out! This is known as Goopy Piranha. Uh, some people call it Polluted Piranha, some people call it Goopy Piranha, I just call it Goopy Piranha. Its weakness is that when its mouth opens, just spray it in with water. It, it for some reason, can't stand water, despite it being a piranha plant. Yeah, it doesn't make sense whatsoever. But I guess since it's made of goop, perhaps, and since the flood washes that goop away, it's... I don't know. And for some reason, it has... That goop has weird, either terraforming or landscaping properties or something. I, d I don't get it, but did you see? He, it just rolls this up and it's all nice and flat now. And anyway, uh, I've got something else to explain here, as I always do in the first part, because I always drag on explanations longer than they need to be. When I'm about to collect the Shine Sprite, you're going to see some uh, little things pop up on the screen. This is the menu system that I've created for this. The left one is the level select, which will take you to my... Uh, main menu, so to speak, where you can choose a level. The right one will take you to the mission select for the level that you're in, like if you were to click on the level select, and now you'll be taken to the, Be uh, I was going to say Bianco Hills, you'll be taken to the Delfino Airstrip menu, um, and that's really about it. You can also browse my videos through the uh, playlist on the um, level select menu, which is the left one there, and 
Uh, I've also got a little gift for you as well, since this game is so collection heavy. There's a checklist that you can use, or I should say download and print out, for your Shine Sprite and Blue Coin collecting in the description. Just read the directions. And uh, really, that's all there is to it. I uh, put up those menus ahead of time just so you guys could check them out uh, before I uploaded part one. And let's collect our first Shine in the game. Oh, uh, you know, just so that you guys could get, get or figure out the menus for yourself, excuse me, or ask questions. So, uh, here we go! And enough, enough talking! Let's grab it! Woo! Yes, that is the first shine. And... Oh, thank you, Princess Pussy. Uh, kind of. The Flash Liquidizing Ultra Dousing Device. Hey, who are these guys? Oh my god. Don't rape me! Oh, uh, why am I in jail? Court is now in session. Oh dear lord. You are no doubt aware. A court Someone TV show parody. Be facing fair Isle Delfino using some paint like substance. Wait, what? Who? The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home. What? And I didn't do anything! I've been framed! Indeed. How can one not be aware of what is going on? I don't know what's going on. Daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. How'd that happen? Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. Why? For the reason? It's quite. Why is there paint on that? This horrible graffiti is to blame. It is? Behold this sketch of the perpetrator. What? An eyewitness How did you get my face? I mean, uh, I mean, who is that? The guilty party sits among us. I didn't do anything! I just got here on the plane. Overruled. What? Overruled what? That was not a case. The defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. What the heck is this? Court adjourned. Oh, come on. That wasn't even a case. I didn't even have a chance. I couldn't present my case. Was there no witnesses to me flying onto the la land stri or air strip there? I mean, I just got to the island. The island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? I did, and I'm, and I'm holding it. Sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine sprites have fled. Oh, poop. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. So the place gets the dark? The way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. Well, we gotta get there, but we're in jail! ...are being treated as a criminal. I know! I just said that. Tomorrow, we must do our best to resolve this situation. Alright! We're back in control. Dear Lord! No! 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 Can't miss the Mets now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be one. Well, I guess as long as I'm here, I guess I could clean up the island on my vacation, which doesn't really make much sense. But uh, you can talk to a load of the people here at Delfino Plaza. Yes, this is Delfino Plaza, this the technically second area of the game, but this is like the main hub of the game. Sort of like Peach's Castle in Super Mario 64. And uh, you'll see this very panicked toad over here. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> that's, that's how I ma- Ow! That's how I imagine Toad's voice there. And yeah, you can also climb trees there as Flood uh, explained. You can also jump off them like, like so. And you can also climb all the way onto the top of there and run, run on the leaves. That's handy for some things. As I said, you can talk to a load of people in here, but there's just so many people to talk to, I just don't really think it's a good idea to waste that much time doing so. And uh, I should add that there's a funny guy on the island here. Um, 
what you should do here is just just check this out for a second here. Is go over to this island here and talk to the guy. He's stranded on this island, evidently. Evidently, he can't swim back or something. Um, I should also add that thing scrolling at the bottom of the screen is the devs, the Delfino Emergency Broadcast System, and that has the most weird of all. Yeah, he can't swim, and he evidently no one sees him on this island, and no one's coming to get him for help. I mean, no one can tell that he's there, even though I can see him from a distance. But yeah, that Delfino Emergency Broadcast System, it, it gives you like the weirdest emergency broadcasts you could possibly ask, or I should, I should say think of. Uh, you'll see as we go through the game later. Um, but, yeah, what I should do right now is unlock the first level of the game. Well, I'll talk to some toads here, just for the heck of it, just because I can. Oh, I forgot to do the, uh, a ground pound move here. You just jump up and press the L button in midair, and that's all. It just makes you slam the ground like that, and everyone's in a panic. I don't know why. Evidently, it's because of this painter, that guy that's running around for some reason, and the, hey, Peach, how's it going? And the, what the heck? What is that? It looks like it's in some sort of shape. It looks like it's in like a, a pianta head or something like that. I never could really pick out the shape of this. It looks... Wait, wait. Is that like a squid or something like that? I don't know. I never knew what the shape of this was, honestly. Anyway, there's some there's some people that you can free in the group like that before, but you really don't have to do that. What you want to do is, of course, squirt the thing in the middle here. And uh, there's also little pink guys here. I forgot the name of them uh, as well. You know, I'm never good with names. You know me if you've watched my video before. Anyway, it's another Goopy Piranha boss. Um, th this boss is shown a lot around this game, or I should say the early game, and that's kind of a problem that this game has, is that there's a lot of repeating bosses, and they're not really much harder than the last. They add a couple of twists to it, but there really isn't much difference to them whatsoever. Uh, you know, in the long run, or I should say how to defeat them. Like, they would put them on different levels than you are, like you'd have to shoot them from a low angle or something like that. Princess, look! On the statue's head! But otherwise, they're the same. And whoa, what the heck? Oh. Mario? Oh, come on! You're not that stupid, are you? You're telling me you can't tell that that's a water-shaped Mario, or water-shaped like Mario? And why the heck didn't she run from that? If you see an evil doppelganger clone of Mario, you run! <laughs> Anyway, where did that guy go? I'm pretty sure he went this way, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Why, why did I think I had to go the other way? I, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of forgot the beginning here. Anyway, all you have to do is spray Shadow Mario here. Yeah, this is Shadow Mario. And until he drops Peach like that. And he'll be like, Oh, not fair! Completely unfair! And uh, what you want to do here is... Oh, shoot. I want to show something. Go get ahead. Freaking go, Mario, go, go, go! Sliding's faster than running, sliding's faster than running. Get in front of here. Now, you'll notice that I got here before Shadow Mario. You see that? He just kind of, like, teleported there. Well, come on, come on, dude. Over here. Come on, man, I see you over there. Come on. Hello there. Don't imitate that... Oh, I, I don't want to I don't want to name the guy, but watch us. Because I was, just, I was gonna spoil something accidentally. You'll notice that I got there first, and then somehow I disappeared, and he got there ahead of me. I don't understand. But anyway, I think that's enough for the first part. I just wanted to get all the explaining and stuff out of the way first, just like I always do in the first part, so the game will definitely pick up in the next part when I start the next level, Bianco Hills. I'll see you then, and I hope you enjoyed.